Hey guys, welcome or welcome back. Today I'm here to watch season two, episode two of Loki. Last episode, season two, episode one, Ouroboros was the season two premiere. The show returned after two years and we continued where we left off in season one and it was just super high energy and intense and Loki was time slipping all over the TVA when it's not supposed to be possible. And we got to see some familiar faces and we got to meet some new characters like Ouroboros or OB who is becoming one of my favorites of the show. He might already be one of my favorites. <laughs> but even just after that first episode, there are so many questions that we need answered. Who prunes Loki? Because it wasn't Sylvie, it was someone standing behind him, so. And also, what is the TVA's plan? Like, what is that general's plan? Because she's sending all of these people after Sylvie. Supposedly, but it feels like there's a much bigger plan at play here. Before I get started, make sure to subscribe and turn on the bell so you get notified when I post the next Loki reaction. They should be coming out every Friday, but if I can't get them up on Fridays, then Saturday. Now it's time to watch season two, episode two, which is called Breaking Brad. They're looking pretty fly. I kind of forgot which show we were watching for a second. Mmm. <laughs> oh, 100 B15? Let's go. Oh. <laughs> Hello? I hope every episode starts off with this same intensity. I love a good chase scene. Yeah. Okay. So what was the point of the chase scene? Like why did you run when he could have just done that? Hold on a second, alright? Oh, yes, finally we get to see Loki use his powers. I don't think they care about fighting bear. I love this. I love seeing him use his powers. Oh my god, yes. That is sick. That is awesome. I love it. Oh, look at him, me and Brad. Look at that, me and Brad were kind of twinning, almost. Where's our guy? I hear him. OB. <laughs> oh, hey guys. Uh, OB, could I get you to take a look at this ten pad? Putting so much on his plate. Come on. He's trying to maintain the structural integrity yeah. of the multiverse, it. and Do you, think this is a high you know he also has to work on this. Thank you. Uh, everything you need to know about this, I wrote it Temperamental like temp pad. <laughs> and he hits on Red Flair's temp pad. Casey. Is Casey a main character? No, he is. What am I saying? No hits. With Miss Minutes down, the analysts are running the trade. Hey, y'all! We'll try it again. Because I don't think you had that press back. Did you? It's too complicated. Wait, <laughs> Tell them what you just told me. Miss Minutes is helping Renslayer. Mmm. What? That explains the radio silence. Oh. Uh, yeah, because they're working together. The message. I heard something. Of the, an old conversation between Renslayer right. and he who remains. I she forgot about really that. Is I feel like I'm Mobius. I keep wanting to. I'm about to say the same lines as he is. X Five says it somehow blocks TVA tracking. That's not what it does. Casey, legend. I'm glad he's back. Keep it simple. Where's Docs? Where's Sylvie? And what did he do to that? Oh, it's not gonna be simple. Brad's an asshole. Uh huh. Don't let him get under your skin. All right. Okay. Loki. Yep. Loki. Hey, what were you doing down there on the sacred timeline? Making movies. Don't waste our time, X5. Whose authority are you even holding me here? Because looking around this room, I do not see anyone ranking high enough to make that call. I don't need approval to detain a hunter that abandoned his mm -hmm. post. You're just trying to make up for all the terrible, awful shit you've done in your life, you pathetic little man. Don't let him get under your skin. See, everything you and Sylvie have ever done to try to help has only made things worse. Made it worse. Problem is, you think you're special, but you're not. So it 
doesn't matter what Okay, Brad. For Mobius, for B-15. For everyone, for your mother. Oh. Oh. Can't bring Frigga into this. Loki, Loki, breathe. Stop. Inhale. Trying to be human, Exhale. Man. Perhaps I've just been waiting for a moment like this so I can do I can recommend somewhere. Control your little pet, Mobius. Oh. I got a little tan. <laughs> knock, knock. Who's there? Who's there? Brad. Brad who? At Shulpis. <laughs> and I don't want that to happen. No, that was, that was good, Mobius. You promise. You promise. I pinky promise. None of this is real. I mean, who even are you? On the time a jet you know, ski enthusiast. The TVA is not your real home. Mobius isn't even your real name. Yeah, Mobius and Mobius is not a name. <laughs> Any idea what kind of life you might have left behind? Who a family? Might be waiting for you back there? I don't even know where to start with that, but you're nothing here. And until you wake up, you're just a nowhere man. You're a nowhere man. Wow, who's the one saying Loki should, you know, not let him Mobius. get under his skin, but Mobius. Yeah. What was that? Okay. He's probably had those same thoughts Seems before. Like your skin. Nope. You didn't get under my skin. You got under your skin. I was following you. No, I was following you. <laughs> Mobius, you were clearly ahead of me. How about a slice of pie? <laughs> Key lime pie. Key lime. Okay. Oh. Oh my. That looks so fake, but it looks so good. I would spend all day here. If I worked in the TVA, am I just gonna point to my shirt every time I say TVA? Probably. I was so angry with my father and my brother. I went down to Earth and I held the whole of New York City. That was like a few weeks or months ago for you, Loki. <laughs> he seems a lot more stable now, though. Look, that's the last thing I should be thinking about. I, aren't you curious? I'd like to thank the guy who kidnapped me and brought me here. Got me this pie. Something bad I can handle. What yeah. if it's something good? You, you, do you think I want to have that rattling around in here? Think about it. He found her, but maybe didn't turn her in because he wants to continue to live his best life on the timeline. Well, come on, you're the god of mischief, right? <laughs> that really is beautiful. Like they were saying it was a disaster. It is a beautiful disaster. Why doesn't he get any help with this? I feel like this is a lot of pressure to put on one person. Oh, shoot. Access denied. Ready for round two. I felt like I just uh, <laughs> need another session. Another therapy session. Um, what is that? You have information that we need. You don't want to give it to us. Controller. Start the festivities without that little baby. Ah, uh, so Mobius is leaving the room. Mm. That thing did not work without the controller, though. So he has it. I think I do. Earlier, I said some really hurtful things, mm -hmm. and I brought up your mother, and I am. Yeah. Sorry about that. <laughs> Trial and error. Go follow my film channel. Look, I swear, okay? I went down there. Oh, look at that look. She has a new life. Was that all planned though? That was all according to the script? You know where Sylvia is. See? A little bit of mischief. As good as your plan. Thank you. This is Casey. I thought I could help. Yes. Oh no. That's, that's reassuring. We're all gonna die. But did you try the C12 bypass pathway? That won't work. <laughs> Are you sure? Of course. I wrote it. <laughs> He's a fan. You wrote the TBA. <laughs> He's a fan. <laughs> will you sign for me? Aww. Of course I will. That's so cute. I'm happy to do it. Only the person who designed it can open it with a live scan of his temporal aura. His? He who remains. 
They have to convince a rogue artificial intelligence to come back to work? Broxton, Oklahoma, 1982. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, 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 I could okay. go for some McDonald's fries right now. There she is. <sighs> Here we go. <laughs> From the commercial. From the commercial. After my shift. My break's in five minutes. It always is. In shows and movies. Uh, Let's not talk about it. I know I'm the last person you want to see. Correct. The future though. There's been a problem. <laughs> it's complicated. Yeah, it always is. Look, as much as I'd love to see the TVA burnt to the ground, I have no intention of going back there. The TVA is the only defense. And if what I saw of you is true, and there's nothing to stand between this world and What are Mobius and Brad doing? TV. Just Ooh, eating pie? I love Mobius so much. Oh, the creepy tree. Hey, Ten minutes ago, you were screaming at me, you're nothing. And then I kind of freaked out and basically tortured you. Yeah. And now here we are. <laughs> McDonald's. I saw the poster. It's scary. <laughs> it's not scary, it's elevated thriller, all right? It's cinema, thank you very much. What's, going What's on? happening? Nothing. No. What's up? Sorry to interrupt. I think Brad's got something that he might want to get off his chest. Zaniac's getting a sequel. And you're both invited. <laughs> hey, Nick is gone. I'll let me go. Oh. All this for Sylvie? No. I got a bomb at every branch. Oh. Where did he go? Mobius, what is going on? Docs wasn't looking for Sylvie. She's going to prune all the new branches. She already is. And he's pruned 30% of the branches. Jeez. Is Mobius on the ground? They're efficient. Take Docs down. Yes, kill her. I mean, stop her. I'm gonna call OB. Everyone's gotta go to OB. He's, he's solving everything. I'm telling you, he's gonna save the multiverse. Ooh! Is this all of Dox's loyalists? Everyone who didn't escape. Ooh. Pet. Where is she? Please don't. It's hard to to stay. Hey Sylvie, you okay? <laughs> Just wanna check. No. Oh. Yeah. Oh, protect Jack at all costs. He's Bye -bye. so precious. <laughs> Monkey playing a guitar. That definitely means something. Oh, look at them in the suits. Okay. Yay. Oh. Huh. What was that? Ding. What was, what was the bell? The torture machine. Ooh, the fireplace and nice couch. Marvel Studios presents a Kevin Feige production. Loki. Oh. There's no post credit scene. So that was Loki season two, episode two. I was expecting a lot of Breaking Bad references, but I guess it had nothing to do with Breaking Bad because it was about Breaking Brad. Like, you know, getting him to fess up what he knows. I absolutely adored the duo that is Loki and Mobius, so I loved seeing them work together throughout the episode. Like, they always work together, but I don't know. I just enjoyed this episode a lot. And at the beginning we had the chase scene and we got to see Loki use more of his powers which I feel like we don't get to see that often and he needs to take advantage of that more. We finally find Sylvie working at McDonald's, her and Loki talk and we get to see you know what Doc's plan was, bombing all the timelines, like destroying them and she and her loyalists did destroy a good amount of timelines so Mission accomplished. Meanwhile, Obi was trying to fix the problem with the loom and it turns out that the only one who can open the blast doors is he who remains, who remains no longer because he is dead. So that means we gotta find Miss Minutes and try to get her to help, which is going to be challenging. I wonder if we're going to work on that next episode. Anyways, that is going to be it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Make sure to subscribe and turn on the bell so you get notified whenever I post a new video. I will see you guys next week with Loki Season 2, Episode 3.
Bye. Hey, editing me. Add in Miss Minutes jump scares throughout this video. Thank you.